we did a test of white rice the last time to see if there's arsenic in it and we found very little if anything any arsenic at all now let's see if brown rice has more arsenic than white rice here I have the brown rice sample the test safe detector taken from the pouch that comes with it and uh, you'll need some distilled water or very clean water a funnel a beaker would help um, a tablespoon to, uh, for measurement the chart so we can see if the result has the arsenic or not and a timer scissors would be helpful let's begin by preparing the detector for use I'm going to unscrew the top off take the filter paper that's there set it in the side and set this aside take the solution pack it out there is a notch here I can just open be careful not to spill any drops and I will put one drop into the cap. Let's set for two minutes for this to dry. All right, we wait for the solution in the cap to dry at about two minutes. doesn't have to be exact about a tablespoon should do it and just a little bit more this is about a tablespoon and then I need to put an equivalent amount of distilled water fill it to the mark here That should do it. Replace the filter paper into the cap and screw this in. Now let's set the timer for 30 minutes. And we'll wait. Alright, we're almost time. And what we'll do is we'll need to take, unscrew the cap here and then compare what we see in the cap to this chart here starting from zero parts per billion for a colorless cap all the way to here of 200 parts per billion the FDA requires that drinking water be no more than 10 parts per billion arsenic uh, to be safe as a reference now let's see if this brown rice here contains either any arsenic or has more arsenic than white rice. And screw the cap. The filter paper is still there. As you can see, there's hardly any arsenic for this brand of rice. So this brown rice it's pretty safe compared also to the white rice we tested before.